yeah so this information is really well i didn't re um, read all of them but you can use this in order to create your own proposal but i wouldn't go this way the reason i'm saying this is because when you look at these days at companies a lot of proposal it's all about visual and most company of most people they don't have time to read all the things that you put in the proposal so you need to make it visual and there is a company i'm really a big fan of them but i'm not affiliated with them or whatever if i'm affiliate i will put a link there but i will put um, the link in the description so you can go there and find a proposal yourself but um this company they offer you a platform where you can create a lot of design for free and that's a good thing because uh, i use it for my youtube videos and other stuff but um let's say um there are some situation out there that this platform can improve your workflow so what i'm saying is that when you look at this platform Try to incorporate it in your workflow and then it will make it easy for you to approach client and also send them as soon as possible on proposal. But there are also other optionals there. So let's say we're going to talk about that company sooner. Let's say you have a bookkeeping software. Give me a second. Let's say you have a bookkeeping software and you pay for it you pay one um, 200 dollars uh, per year or whatever the booking keeping software offer you to send invoice right if they have the option to send invoice they also have the option to send proposal so you can create a proposal template in that system and every time you get a new client you put the client of customer you put the customer into that system and then you can send them a proposal when they accept the proposal then you send an invoice do not send them an invoice before the proposal that's uh that's not a good thing because here when the, you send the proposal you have a contract and one part of the contract is or one agreement to contract is they need to pay you and you send an invoice only when you have when you, the person need um if someone um, need to pay or the, you need to have a reason to send an invoice that's technically it so this is the contract this is the invoice yeah keep in mind you can send proposal people can accept it online but that's a dangerous to that because the third party software that you are using you need to make sure that it's a good one because some software out there they say that um yeah some stuff let's keep it by some software out there doesn't meet the requirements for law yeah so when you have a proposal you send it to your customer your customer accept it by sign it or you have proof that they accept it then you send the invoice and they pay that's simple is it? that's simple so you can info the benefits of this is you can create your own list of customer in your own system yeah so later on you can see oh this customer of um ordered this three months ago or a year later then you can send them an email hey last year you said you ordered this um do you want to order this again that's simple so this is how proposal work what you also can do is you can create a proposal offline let's say with another platform and put it in the system most time in this system i set pdf file so you can put it in the pdf file and then you put it in a system and then send it to the client it's that simple so um, if you have a good bookkeeper they will help you with this because it's important for the invoice that you have a contract and when you have a proposal that's accepted then you can send an invoice yeah so this is also an option so how can you use this in real life you can use the platform like canva you can use the platform like hubspot the template and then you can incorporate it in your software and then you can send it to your client as an email or you can print out this pdf and send it to them let them sign it and then uh, you have a contract it's that simple so it's really important this because then you have a 
contract that you can show okay when something happens when something goes wrong i always have this and i have, I have proof that's technically it so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to canva i'm going to show you um canva canva doesn't matter how you pronounce it uh, what matter is that you know what company i'm talking about so um give me one second 